Being have eco-anxiety makes it sound like a rash or a condition or something, but a lot of people are worried about the planet when they don't tell anyone. My name is Rachel Dempsey. I'm a facilitator for well-being and change. Eco-anxiety is definitely a thing. It's to do with worry about the climate and the ecological emergency and how it's going to affect everyone. I mean, that's putting it really simply. One of the reasons I got into this work is I felt there's a huge need for people to have spaces to admit and express to one another in a safe space where they're not going to get slagged that you're really worried. I suppose it's the association of being too emotional in our society. You know, it's not okay to care. It's not okay to care about a tree. It's not okay to care about an insect. And I think that's one of the things the movement has kind of neglected is Changing that space, changing the culture around how we feel, you know, expressing how we feel is really important. I bring people into nature, so I, I'm a forest bathing guide. Forest bathing is basically reconnecting to nature through your senses. I mean, forest bathing is, is just a way in. It's really about the fact that when we are in nature, we are in our natural environment. Do your individual action, you know, cut down on your carbon emissions, cut down on your plastic, cut down on your waste, and then find things that nurture you that you can get involved in. So for example, if you have kids, you know, litter picking with kids is an amazing activity. If you live in a town where there's beach cleaning or repair cafes or something that has happened in a few places. So these things are so good because they cultivate community, they look after your well-being, they nurture relationships, they build the kind of places that people want to live in. I think there's so much potential to live differently on this planet, you know, in a way that's more in tune with nature, in tune with each other. 